Hey Matt from eScooter Nerds here. Today we're gonna be looking at the best fat tire electric scooters in the world. This has been an increasingly popular scooter category and there are a few models you should be aware of. We're gonna start from the cheaper models and progress towards the best fat tire electric scooter in the world right now. Let's get into it. We start with what I consider to be the best fat tire scooter when you're on a budget and that's the Say Yeah electric scooter. Even though fat tire scooters are nowhere near as popular as their standing counterparts, the scooter comes from one of the most recognizable brands in the fat tire scooter world and it's still quite popular. The Say Yeah comes with a single brushless hub motor in the rear with 800 watts of power enabling the scooter to travel at 22 miles per hour and climb hills of up to 10 degrees. The 46 volt battery gives the scooter a range of 18 miles which in my opinion is one of the weakest points about this particular model. In general this is a pretty good fat tire scooter but its range is a little bit limited I do consider that to be its weak point and we will see some models with longer ranges further down in this video. For the price of around $800 I would still say that the Say yeah is a pretty good deal. The 15 inch pneumatic tires coupled with the dual front and rear shock absorbers will provide a very comfortable ride. The scooter also comes with very formidable dual brakes. So this is one of the cheaper options when it comes to fat tire scooters but it's still a pretty good value for money. Check the link in the description to get it from the best place possible. Next we have the City Coco, another great budget fat tire scooter. City Coco is originally a Turkish brand which is somewhat interesting to see as I can't recall any other Turkish scooter brands and also there are not that many brands outside of the US, China and Korea anyway. There are several City Coco models available but the 48 volt 500 watt model is the most popular. You will get a top speed of 20 miles per hour, a range of 16 miles on a single charge. It also comes with front and rear disc brakes, rear spring shock absorbers and large pneumatic tires. The scooter does earn some points for its build quality. Again, we can't expect any miracles here as this will still be a budget scooter but the overall quality will be pretty good for the price, the steel alloy will give you a lot of stability, the dual disc brakes will provide a lot of safety and so owning the scooter might prove to be a pleasant experience after all. The City Coco falls into the category of jack of all trade scooters. It doesn't exactly shine in one particular area per se, but it's a well balanced and affordable model that performs decently and has a good quality level, so it can serve as a catch all choice for budget shoppers that could be hesitant about other models. Check the link in the description for the best deal on the scooter, it usually costs around $800. Let's switch it up from the budget models a little bit and check out one of the best high-end fat tire electric scooters, that would be the Cruiser. If you've ever seen Batman The Dark Knight, you may be wondering the same thing that I am. Why isn't Batman's bike a real thing yet? Until that amazing piece of machinery becomes a reality, the Scruiser will remain the next best thing. The Scruiser is arguably the best premium fat tire electric scooter. It is very popular and well received, especially in Europe and Germany in particular, which is the country it hails from. The typical German attention to detail and obsession with quality is visible in every line and every detail of the scooter. One of the major disadvantages of the scooter, at least in my opinion, is its top speed of 15.5 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour. Some believe that the scooter's top speed is purposefully limited so that it complies with traffic laws worldwide. From my own personal experience, I'm not sure that's the case here since the scooter's motor only has 500 watts of power even though it can generate torque of up to 43 newton meters. For close to $4000, it would be great if the scooter could go faster and have a bit more juice in the motor. The range of the Scruiser is a somewhat different story. The scooter can go 28 miles or 45 kilometers on a single battery charge powered by a 36 volt battery with a capacity of 720 watt hours. That kind of range is not so bad for a fat tire scooter, so the performance of the Scruiser is not really all that bad. Charging the scooter takes 4 hours. The pneumatic tires of the Scruiser are probably its strongest weapon. With a diameter of 18 inches and almost 10 inches in width, these are the largest, fattest tires in an electric scooter today and you can be certain that they will provide a buttery smooth ride. As with most fat tire scooters with giant wheels, the Scruiser barely needs any additional suspension. The brakes are another strong point of the Scruiser. The hydraulic front 180mm brake and the rear disc brake are a great combination and make the Scruiser very safe. The next fat tire scooter is another premium model. 
But this time, I think this is one of the best design fatter scooters ever. We're talking about the Stator. This is a very unique scooter. Since it doesn't have a seat, an argument can easily be made that it doesn't really belong on this list, as fat tires usually have a comfortable seat and they can be ridden almost as they were motorcycles. But at the same time, the tires of the stator are so wide that it doesn't really make sense to label it as a regular electric kick scooter. The stator looks stunning, at least in my opinion. The handlebar is just one single bar, and riding the scooter is an experience in its own league. There is not one single scooter that even looks similar to this original model. In fact, since the stator is so unique, learning how to ride it properly, which is by using your entire body, may have a slight learning curve. Make no mistake here, all eyes will be on you as you ride this thing down the street. The stator is much more than looks only, however. With a theoretical range of 50 miles, this is one of the longest range fat tire electric scooters ever made. The lithium ion battery has 120 volts and yet it takes just 4 hours to charge with the fast charger. The scooter weighs around 150 pounds, so carrying it will be a problem, but unlike most fat tire scooters, the stator actually folds at the stem so that will improve portability at least a little. The pneumatic tires are 18 inches in diameter and 7.8 inches in width, which makes them one of the largest tires even in the fat tire scooter category. Obviously, the need for additional shock absorbers will be minimal to non-existent. The state-of-the-art braking system, designed in Germany again, is also one of the proudest crown jewels of the scooter. Even though I like the scooter a lot, I still believe it has a few downsides. The unusual design and riding style may throw some people off. The scooter usually costs around $4,000. By the way, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can help us create more awesome scooter content. The next pick on our list sets itself apart with a unique IPX6 ingress protection standard, one of the best in the world and certainly the best one when it comes to fat tire scooters. We're talking about the Scusa K1S. While the brand is not very well known in the scooter world in general, it is one of the most recognizable names in the fat tire scooter market. The 48 volt battery has a capacity of 1500 watt hours and will provide you with a range of 35 miles. The brushless hub motor has a real power level of 1200 watts and a peak power level of 1500 watts, enabling the scooter to go as fast as 28 miles per hour. With a diameter of 18 inches and a very wide base, the scooter's tires provide both excellent shock absorption and control. The scooter comes with dull brakes on both wheels, but it has no suspension other than what the wheels provide. The scooter is priced around $3,500. The Mototech Fatboy is the next fat tire electric scooter we will be reviewing and it's arguably the most popular fat tire scooter currently. Mototech is one of the few names in the fat tire market that stands out, which is why this won't be the last Mototech scooter we'll see here. The Mototech Fatboy is one of their most successful models, however. It comes with 500 watts of power in the motor, giving the scooter a top speed of 25 miles per hour in a 10 degree climb angle. The 48 volt battery, on the other hand, gives it a range of 20 miles. Keep in mind that this scooter, as well as a few others on this list, comes with a sealed lead acid battery, which is an older battery technology that takes longer to charge. The tire diameter is 15 inches and the tires are pneumatic, which makes riding the scooter a silky smooth experience. The scooter comes with dual disc brakes. I would recommend this scooter if you're looking for a proven fat tire model that's pretty versatile in terms of performance, comes with decent quality and doesn't really break the bank. The Mototech Fatboy is usually priced less than $800 and you can check the link in the description to get it from the best place. Next we have the Toxosers Fatboy. Toxosers? Am I, am I saying that right? That's right, this is another Fatboy we have here, but this Fatboy takes the title of the lightest fat tire electric scooter, weighing around 100 pounds. Of course, that's not a small amount of weight, but when it comes to fat tire scooters, most of which weigh well above 120 pounds, this can be considered lightweight. Truth be told, the Toxosers Fatboy is somewhat similar in terms of design to other fat tire scooters. What makes it different is the 800 watt motor in the rear giving it a top speed of 20 miles per hour. The 48 volt battery provides it with a range of 15 miles. 
The pneumatic tires are 15 inches in diameter and 16 inches in width. In my opinion, the battery and the range are the weakest points of the scooter. Still, we can't have both lightweight and big range, so this scooter is the lightweight option in the world of fat tire scooters and obviously range will have to be somewhat limited. So if you want the lightest fat tire electric scooter in the world, check the link in the description for the best place to get it from. The Toxuzers Fatboy is usually priced less than $800. Toxuzers, right? Moving on, the next fat tire scooter is the best option when it comes to off-road riding and that's the Mototech Vulcan. As I said before, we were gonna see a few other Mototech models and that strongly demonstrates the brand's presence in the fat tire market. On the surface, it may sound like fat tire scooters would all be great for off-road riding. After all, they all have those large fat tires and those should be enough to handle every dirty rail and rough patch of land, right? But the limiting factor almost all fat tires have when it comes to off-road riding is their low deck clearance, coupled with their long base. While most fat tire scooters should be able to handle some rough terrain rides on flatter terrains with ease, things will quickly get tricky when we're talking about true rough grounds with lots of bumps and holes. That's where the Mototech Vulcan comes in. One look at the scooter is enough to realize what we're talking about. Not only does it have a taller base, but it's also built like a bulldozer, looks so strong it's almost frightening and of course the tires practically scream off-road. There's also the suspension system on the rear wheel that will make tackling rough terrains even easier as well as the dual disc braking system that provides pretty good safety overall. The 48 volt battery gives the scooter a range of up to 20 miles in optimal conditions. The motor of the scooter is not its strongest point in my opinion. While the motor has quite a large power output of 1600 watts, it can be prone to defects. The scooter will still have quite a lot of torque however and both climbing and weight capacity will not be an issue. In general, I would recommend this scooter as the best fat tire option for off-road riding. Check the link in the description if that's your thing the scooter will typically be priced less than $1,000. Next, we have the Zoomers Fat Tire Electric Scooter, which is also the fastest fat tire electric scooter today. It can reach a top speed of 29 miles per hour, which is quite a lot for a fat tire scooter, since usually they are limited to top speeds of 25 miles per hour. The scooter comes from a relatively new brand, which can sometimes be a good thing, as its price will remain competitive for some time. However, the quality levels of the scooter will remain not that well known for some time as well. The Zoomers comes with a 2000 watt motor, which is the driving force behind the scooter's speed. The range of the scooter is also not too shabby, with the 1200 watt hour 60 volt lithium battery providing it with a range of 40 miles. Pneumatic tubeless tires, dual hydraulic disc brakes, and dual suspension are some of the other excellent features of the scooter. The Zoomer typically costs around $1900. Check the link in the description to get it from the best place. And finally, the best fat tire electric scooter in the world right now is the Seiya yeah with a 2000 watt motor. In a way, we end where we started, with another Seiya yeah fat tire scooter, but a much more powerful one this time. The 2000 watt rear hub motor of this model gives it a top speed of 25 miles per hour, a very good climb angle, a quick acceleration, and a 450 pound weight limit, which also makes this scooter the best fat tire model for heavy adults. The battery of the Seiya yeah model is another one of its strong sides, with the 60 volt 2160 watt hour battery enabling it to travel 60 miles on a single battery charge. Huge pneumatic tires along with the front hydraulic and rear spring shock absorbers provide the smoothest ride in the fat tire scooter category in my experience. The scooter also has dual hydraulic brakes with an electronic anti-lock brake system which makes this the safest fat tire scooter as well. The Seiya 2000 watt version will typically cost around $2000 which is a very fair price for it if you ask me. The only potential downside of the scooter is its weight. Since it's made mostly from high tensile steel alloy, it will weigh close to 200 pounds, which makes it only usable on the road and not really carryable by a single person. But all of the fat tire scooters are somewhat like that. It doesn't really matter if the scooter weighs 150 or 190 pounds, everything above 100 pounds is already very difficult to carry and fat tire scooters are designed to be ridden anyway, which is why that's not that big of an issue in my opinion. 
To put it simply, if you're looking for the highest quality, most versatile, arguably the best fat tire electric scooter in the world right now, the Say Yeah with the 2000 watt motor is your best pick. The link to buy it from the best place that will provide you not only the best price but also the best shipping and delivery terms is in the description. And there we have it, the best fat tire scooters for every context, budget and scenario. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more scooter stuff. Also, let me know in the comment section which fat tire scooter do you prefer. I'll see you in the next video.